Hey guys, Kuro Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. Aaron. And we are back with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yes. Yes, it's been it's One been week while. since we left. Yeah. What? It's been 300 days since we've last seen S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, not one week. No, yeah, um, I, I started trying to watch through, I haven't had time to watch through. There's a lot. All of S.H.I.E.L.D. Six yet. whole seasons. Five that feel like the end. Six what? Six whole seasons. Six like coal. Nope. Six Colson seasons. But really, it was just five Colson seasons. Then we had a season with Sarge and Izel, and it felt like kind of like, huh, this is a little different, you know? And then that stuff wrapped up real quick, and then Fitz and Simmons came out, like, we're from the future, and they went to the past. And uh, they have an LMD Colson. Well, yeah, at, at the very end, um, the, hey guys. The, the hunters have Fury's box. Yes, the and they're chrono like, chronicoms. Yeah, the, well, yeah. I don't want to put them in a box, though, because, like... I mean... Well, there's still Enoch, and he's a, he's a chronicom, but he's a good guy. But they're still chronicom. But there's the hunters who are bad. They're trying to remake chronicom home planet. One, or whatever. Yeah, whichever, on Earth. And to do that, they have to get rid of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, apparently. So but if, they have Fury's box, and they're going to different places. Yeah. And Fitz and Simmons are, like, they have an idea of how to stop them or yep. something. But they need a S.H.I.E.L.D. expert, which that's where... LMD Colson came in. Mm -hmm. Who's like super? I'm just super excited. Uh, you know, I I generally liked last season, but I mean, you know, season four and season five had such high highs. Season six absolutely had high highs. Like, uh, you know, we had like uh, Jocko and that I team. Like Jocko, I yeah. really like Jocko. There's some cool stuff with like their their door yeah. opening technology stuff mm -hmm. that they had and whatnot. The the drug scene, the drugs on Clipton, Clipton, something like that. Yeah, fear and loathing. In space, pretty much yeah. is what it was. Uh, so there was some great stuff there. There was, uh, Fitz, once again, Fitz and Simmons being apart from each other. At the end of it, Jimma was there, but it's like, Fitz isn't there. We don't know where he is or something like that. I'm like, great. Yeah, he's like on a radio. Yeah, something like that. What else, though? What else? I think that's pretty much it to be able to get into here. We uh, we also, right now, you're watching, if you're subscribed to Blind Wave, you know that we started Agent Carter. But for us, we've actually finished Agent Carter, mm -hmm. and then it's just going to take time to get the edits up. But, uh, so we're all caught up on Agent Carter, two seasons of it. Mwah, loved it. We'll talk about that in those videos, and then if it comes up anytime here, because we are going back in time. I think it was like the 20s, late late 20s, early 30s, or something like that, that we went back to. Yeah, it should be around the 1920s, because of they were still building the Empire State Building. It wasn't mm -hmm. finished yet. Yeah. So that was happening around the Great Depression, I believe, right? Something like that, yeah. So we're going to be jumping back in time, which, you know, I mean... <laughs> Any show goes on long enough, eventually starts doing time travel. But it's a, that time travel is also a great way to like look back on the history of a show. So I assume that's what we're going to be doing with this season. Oh um, yeah, especially since I was going to say too, there was a poll a long time ago about me not knowing something, and I think I know what it was because I was spoiled on this being the last season. Oh, so. okay, gotcha. So that's what the poll was. I figured from a long time ago. Right. Do we tell Aaron? What was, we all do, know. I remember there was a poll like, do we tell Aaron something? And he was sure. like, no, don't tell him. Like, all right, gotcha. we won't tell him. But then I was spoiled, and then I was like, oh, oh, well, that's sad. All right, well, we all know now that this is the final season of S.H.I.E.L.D., and I know that, like, I I'm pretty sure this is marketed as the final mission, the final season of S.H.I.E.L.D. anyway. So, yeah, because I was trying to look up, like, what color should I put up? And I saw that. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to put up blue. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, so I don't know. It's it's sad that this is going to be the last one, but I hope they can do it well and they, they know it's the last one so they can do it yeah. how they want to rather than like leaving things open like maybe we will yeah. have more. There was a small part of me that's like, especially the ending of last season where I'm like, oh man, that's, I don't know if I actually like any like, like this stuff. Like we're going to go on the time travel and they have the LMD Coulson, but then I remember that this is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and they take premises that I think I shouldn't like and make me love them. Mm -hmm. So I'm just really excited to see yeah. what they do. And with having, you know, with having the Marvel movies now have done time travel mm -hmm. and different things, Definitely. are we going to see some kind of interference or anything? Because the snap kind of just vanished. Yep. You know, it didn't happen. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we're living in the world where Thanos went to the future to snap, right? Thus, so the snap th didn't happen then. Then he tried to snap in the future and died, so the world never had a snap. So, of the branching parts of timelines, that maybe we're living on one of those? Maybe, right? Because at some point, the Thanos that we had at the end of Endgame came from the past, yeah. right? We should promise to people to not be super obsessed with how this is going to tie in with the MCU. Because we'll probably True. run in circles and ultimately go nowhere. But if it happens, woo, we'll go crazy. True. So, uh, guys, this is... And there are uh, probably going to be spoilers for anything Marvel previously. So anything. And just everything. be ready for that. Because I already said about Snap. reactions, spoilers to reactions you haven't even seen yet. With Agent Carter, probably. 
<laughs> That's possible. So, uh, this is episode one of season seven, and Aaron, because it's episode one, what does that mean? It means down in the description, you guys can find a link to full length for this episode. We do it for the beginning of every season episode thing, so you can watch along with us for the entire episode. Make sure you have your own reference footage, because that is not provided in full length. And uh, it'll be the whole thing. You can just watch it with us. It'll be fun. Yes. And if yes, uh, yes. if you enjoy it, make sure you guys check out patreoncom slash blindwave because it is one of our support tiers as well as uh, the polls and early access for things that we can do early access on. Absolutely. We'll have a poll at the end of this episode. We're also going to be having Q and A's uh, the entire season. So all you have to do is follow us on Twitter and use hashtag agents. No shield Q and A. Yeah, shield Q. Hash. All you have to use is shield hashtag shield Q and A. Uh, you can ask a question, a comment, a theory. Anything, pretty much, and we'll talk about it at the end of the video. Mm. You excited? I'm excited. No! I thought this was done in Carter, or no more. Ah! 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 Jesus. Ah! Whoa, that's what they look like? I... Whoa. <laughs> that's cool. That is so fucking cool. I man. thought they looked like squid monsters. We don't know. We never saw. They were. It was a shadow. In the shower. Why is no one talking? <laughs> we had to make a tough decision because you're an LMD. Yeah, get it out there. No. <sighs> At least they're not. Yeah. And believe he's close, I guess. No. Lighthouse. Dearly beloved, what gathered here today? Oh. Processing. Close it. Symbol that must carry on. Ghost Rider. Take the deal. Take the deal. I'm dead anyway. I'm dead anyway. I'm dead anyway. Oh, they can shut him down, huh? What's this? Ooh, that's a letter. Whoa. All errors. Is it? It's Enoch. Welcome, friends, new and old. I'm scanning existing frequencies for anything unusual. <laughs> you can't hear. I didn't want to be brought back. Which I respected. Yeah. Because you hate robots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what kind of outfits are they wearing? Right. It's time to suit up. What are they going to wear? What are they going to wear? I love shield music, man. It's Bear McCready. I want to see what Coulson wears. Whoa. Yeah, Mac. Yes. yes. It's great for Coulson. Cool. Right, not bad, D. Like a paper boy. That's cool for Sky yeah. too. I think it fits pretty well. All of them. Whoa! <sighs> I just need fits. I want my family back. You know. <laughs> it looks great. I know. I got all this stuff for like thirteen bucks. I love it. It's the Great Depression. <laughs> it's the Great Depression. It's a decade before Pearl Harbor. Almost four decades before Apollo Eleven. You still have never even seen the TV. Or. Oh. Black men in a fine suit, apparently. Why can't I sell my colors? Or my gears. Drive gears, do you think? Hey, let's quiet down about that. <laughs> you want to keep history on track, not send it off the rails of our own. Imagine time as a stream, right? And we were sticks that were thrown into it. The water, it, it moves us, it moves around us. But it ends up in the same place. Right. Now, too many sticks thrown in, and that'll create what's called a dam, and, and that'll change the direction of the water forever, and that's bad. So, as long as we can avoid that, we should be able to splash around a little bit. What happened? Happen. Agent Shaw. You will not be filing any patents. Was that understood? <laughs> I will tread ever so lightly, Director. Ah! Royal Canadian Mounted Police. We were asked to assist. Mounties. The Mounties? Why'd they call you in? Uh, tell me, uh, did you find some bodies without faces? It happens all the time in Canada. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. We can handle it. So, just... so a guy like you doing trying to be a Mountie. Can't you find a husband? But for some reason, they just end up with broken ribs whenever they give me lip. Now move, Jobs. or a guy like me will knock out a guy like you in front of people like them. <laughs> Sorry, man. Yeah, Daisy. Hmm. Agent Carter had to be a little more subtle, but I get it. <laughs> nah, look at all the people with no faces. Yeah. It's like ball sacks. It's so off for this guy. That guy, wrong place, wrong time. Oh, why? That's for you. I'm glad that you just not just fix, you know? The yeah. psych material has dissolved into your vascular system. She wasn't fixed the whole season five. 
Your body appears to be breaking it down. Okay. Yeah. It should be all right. When's the last time she was happy? <laughs> you know? They're more advanced than the one Fitz made for Coulson. Precisely Are they arms? calibrated to your inhuman ability. Ooh. Sweet. Now she doesn't have to wear gloves. Ah. What? That's why. Swordfish. Okay, cool, right? <laughs> what giant star? Silent precision. It's absolutely necessary. Quite. <laughs> She's here. Remember to smile. He didn't smile. Do not come in. There may be screaming. This guy, man, it's like, huh? What the hell's going on? Trusted officer of the law, as I have always been. <laughs> as I have always that's been. That's what, uh, he's like, I am Cree, like I have always Is been. Is this the truck? How many agents are here? <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Dude, she's always so good in her stunt work. Mm. Oh, come on. No, dude! Woo. Oh, that was a Quaker car! Ah, Duke! A Quaker car. No, yes, yes, I'm very proud. <laughs> Dang, man, they're strong. Coulson. I'm already dead. Who the hell, I'm not. Step <laughs> back, I'll shoot. Who <laughs> the hell, I'm not. They're strong, does it mean Colson's strong? Max already strong. Jesus oh. Christ! Wow! <laughs> he threw him up and punched him back down! <laughs> Chuckleheads get blood on my floor. You best be prepared to get down and add some of your own. That's Patton! What? Wait, yeah. <laughs> what is he? Ernest Hazard Koenig. See, my reputation precedes me. Oh my god. I'm Coulson. This is Mac. The Canings are a dynasty. They come in peace. You hear that? You bunch of candy canes, they came in peace. Isn't that a load off? <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> oh, she's got her hands on. Oh, this is so good. She can feel. You stole a truck? Borrowed. The opposite of low profile, Deke. Why me? There's two of us. <laughs> we didn't exactly have a choice. Governor of New York. Isn't that Franklin Delano Roosevelt? Last time FDR. FDR. Kid, quit futzing What's around. What's with Freddy? Right. Freddy must be something. Every bottle you break comes out of your discount. Drinks don't pour themselves. Get a wiggle on, you lazy, lazy boy. Go on, finish it. Sorry. <laughs> Ripples, not waves. <laughs> if the corner comes, I'm waiting for FDR. When it gets here, it'll be a whole new deal. Am I right? <laughs> Dad jokes. It's a glitch. Sorry. It's no, it's not. Keep them. Awesome. Don't get rid of them. Post up by the door. Damn! With them Jesus, shoving man. shit in their faces and stuff. What are the corner comes planning? Man, that outfit's awesome. Jesus, they're gonna have so much fun this season. I think it's go anywhere. Damn, look at that outfit. Coulson looks great. do you think might not be all bad? Be our little secret then. <laughs> yes, sir. Why did that make me emotional? <laughs> why am I tearing up? I don't know why. I love Coulson so much. Where the corner comes. He's not, something he's here. not the target? No. Freddy, 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 Freddy. Why Freddy? He's got to be something Freddy? special. He's he was there when the SSR safe house went. I don't know. That's so, so Terminator. Terminator. Bum, 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 bum. No. Well. Hey. The bread. Yes. Ah. Oh. Quake. I've been looking forward to this. I like this guy. Oh. Well, sorry, it's just another fight for me. <laughs> <laughs> what is all this? We're saving your life. Let's go. Come with me if you want to live. I'll keep him safe. Meet back at Cadence. Hello. Oh. He's gonna be just as strong as they are, right? Yeah. In theory. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Like Gideon what Malik? Is his full name, what is it? Wilfred Malik, why? Hydra? If Chronicons kill Malik, then Hydra stamped out before it ever takes hold and shield's never formed. Wow. It's safe to save shield. We have to save Hydra. <laughs> oh, oh my shit. god, are you kidding me? <laughs> Great. Should I wear that shirt? I should have, I should have. It's over. I can wear it next oh, time. No. I can wear it next time. Good old fashioned shield stinger. Maze out. Oh, dang. Agent Bay, it is oh. I, Enoch, sentient chronicom, trusted friend. How could you lose her? You had one job. Get her back? It is. It is. Job. Oh my gosh, it's kind of scary. Is she good? Bad? Crazy? What's going on? Oh, she, she was waking up with the robots. She's just happened before. All right? She's scared. She doesn't know what's going on. Last time something happened, she, I mean, for May, she just got... Killed, thrown into that one dimension, came back out, stabbed Izel, died in Max Arms, and now she woke up and there's a robot. But she, I don't, mm, you know what I'm saying? I think she just like, what the fuck is going on? I'm gonna take control of the situation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's what's happening. That's well within her character, dude. What she's doing right there. As long as she's not bad, I don't want to be bad. Why would she be bad? I don't know. I just don't want it. I don't want our team to be bad. We're busy with chronic comms and other stuff. Like, Izel is dead. Sarge is dead. It's not like she's being possessed or something. I guess she could be possessed. Well, Izel could be in her. I have no idea. No. I, no I think that she's just like, what's going on? And then Jim will come out and it's like, it's us. <laughs> you know? Oh. And, and then she'll punch Jim. She'll probably punch someone, yeah. Ah, <sighs> Good for her. I love the episode. Me too. It's good. It's good to have it back. I said in the reaction, like, man, it felt like we never left, but truly these actors just kept going and finished the season well a long time ago. Like, I'm pretty sure they had this, like, done, like, almost really? the, the last Why'd season Why'd they wait finished. so long, I wonder? Huh? Movie releases and stuff, too, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. However, that works. It takes to do their stuff, but I'm pretty sure they filmed the last two seasons, like, almost back-to-back. -back. Like, Back to the Future. Because I, I remember there being a thing where we were like, yeah, they're done filming the whole series now. I think mm -hmm. we were talking about it, so... For them, it just, they probably just kept fucking filming, you know? But, man, I really enjoyed that. Because, you know, they did seasons one to five, and, and five, they thought that was going to be the end, and they got six, and they're like, what are we going to do now? And then the seven, they're like, all right, let's finish it. So, I'm excited for this season. So I love the idea that they had to save Malak and create Hydra to save S.H.I.E.L.D., you know? Did not see that coming. I was like, something has to be with Freddy. Well, they Maybe it's going to be, oh yeah, Freddy Stark. It can't be, though, because Stark's already around or something. Like, I was like, there's got to be a connection there somewhere. Yeah. I was like, who's his dad? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. So what do you think the vials are? Is it like super soldier serum related or something, maybe? Well, the doctor would be over in Europe right now. Because they, all that was happening during World War II, yeah. right? Which you're going to hit into the 40s. Yeah. Yeah. So they have time before that happens. Sure. And they also got to create Hydra and stuff, too. Well, Hydra's already around. Right? Because Hydra, that cult of Hydra's been doing that stuff to send it to, you know, the squid thing. And they've True. been doing that for thousands of years. True. His Malik could have been yeah. a part of that. And he's like... Yeah, I mean, Red Skull and them, like, they, they're alive. They're around. They just... And I, Hydra's there. It's just that when the Nazis happen, mm. Hydra just, like, <clears throat> forms inside of that and tries to take hold because they think, oh, the Germans are going to win. Yeah. We'll be part of Hydra. But then after that, Zola infiltrates S.H.I.E.L.D., right? Gideon, you know, Malak helps build S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. And they infiltrate Hydra, and that's what been there the entire time. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of, like, what they're seeding here with, like, you know, they talk about the dad taking the coward's way out. They have these vials of yeah. stuff, you know, like, is he part of it? You know, why would he have, like, what was... Maybe the coward's way out isn't what I'm thinking of because he was like, yeah, I know I was there. Yeah. You know, like, well, he was there. That seems weird. Like, yeah. That, 
I don't know. I'm just wondering what it could be. So Sli- I'm trying to I'm look slightly at the excited to hear from the fans that were like, they do too much Hydra stuff. We get it. Hydra's around, but they finish it off, right? No more Hydra. <laughs> Hydra comes back. <laughs> Don't in the past. They got to be around, right? Yeah, right? I mean, when was this? 31? I mean, this was it, 1931. Cap is in this city. Somewhere. He's like 12. Yeah, probably. You know? Like, he's fucking there. Like, they could go find Steve Rogers right now if they wanted to. Obviously, they wouldn't, you know. Yeah, but, r- waves, ripples. Yeah. Which, I like that they acknowledge that a little bit, too, with the idea of... Because they mentioned... The movies were the ones that did the multiverse branch theory, right? Mm-hmm. Which is what he was saying about. But he said he prefers the time stream theory. Yeah. So he kind of tossed both in there. But he kind of described, like, here's what we're thinking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe both can be real, mm-hmm. in a sense. Well, and yeah, definitely. Because this is a fictional story. Both are real. Sure. <laughs> you know? But, like... It's just how is it Maybe the multi-branch theory is more of, like, what the ancient one's talking about with, yeah. like, the gems... And how the mm-hmm. Infinity Gems kind of hold everything together. But when yeah. you start removing them, now you go into this multiverse branch yeah. kind of spread out. But when those aren't in play, it's more of a time stream thing where it's yeah. like what he's talking about. It's almost closer to like Steins Gate in, in the way that the, those things, those timelines don't necessarily exist right now. They come into existence as things are happening, you know. But like Back to the Future is bullshit like that stuff. Like, Steve still goes back and lives with Peggy, but we still have a timeline, too, that we can examine and exist in with Carter, Agent Carter. You know, like, I, this can't be in the yeah, same well, timeline. Yeah, that would have been the original timeline. Yeah. So that's why I was wondering, like, I wonder if what we're watching here has been, like, what they've gone through, mm-hmm. like, in the timeline. Yeah. Like, like if you say an endgame changed what timeline that we're on, mm-hmm. right? Like, what if S.H.I.E.L.D. the whole time has been on that timeline? We just didn't know it had changed yet. I get you. So that's maybe what I'm maybe. thinking might be the, the case. Yeah, I'm sure as we go through the season, because when they set up this, like, uh, there are certain launch windows, and you can follow the tide. Yeah. but They're setting up that we're going to be going throughout time. And they're not going to be able to necessarily control where they're going. They're yeah. just going to there's like, there's times and places that we're, we can go through at certain times. And it's why it will make it very easy to follow the Chronicoms, because, like, they could go anywhere... But we can now we gotta search them anywhere, you know. Yeah. But with this, it's just we just follow the door they open. So that's good. It won't be like, man, they can just find them. They escape through time. Or who yeah. knows where they'd be? They just found them by coincidence. And then they... I believe that there was an episode or two where they had like a young Gideon Malik back in Shield. No, I'm thinking about it. Like that Freddy guy kind of looks like him. I don't remember. And that's that, that would be Gideon Malik's dad, Freddy Malik, right? Yeah, Wilfred. Yeah. He's around this speakeasy. That will ultimately be where, like, Koenig and the others maybe start forming parts of the SSR, whatever Roosevelt creates it during the war ten years later, you know? Yeah. I mean, he could be the asset for the SSR. Yeah. That they're talking about whenever the SSR forms a shield, all that kind of stuff. So the stuff that Coulson knows, you put Freddy in there, is that there's your asset, there's Gideon in shield and Mm -hmm. all that stuff. So kind of plays through. But Malik name also has a lot of ties into Hydra and stuff too so sure well he's a moral council mm. that's in charge of stuff and yeah true I don't know I'm wondering I'm trying to think if we had Malik in the weird flashback things we had yeah like I don't remember like I haven't gotten to there so like maybe I need to rewatch through some of that but I know if, I'm, if I'm, they aren't in Hydra then when will they go into Hydra you know do you remember the episode it was like two brothers, mm-hmm. and one of them had like a white stone, one of them a dark stone, and like they tricked each other, and one like became into power or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like the familiar. kid that played Malik, I felt like looked a lot like this kid playing Freddy. After it was only after they said, "I'm like, huh, I think I kind of remember like an old Malik episode, but I don't remember if it was Dad was in it." But I know that there was like two brothers. But I, yeah, again, I have to kind of refresh myself on on that stuff, and now I have homework. Yeah, like, I've been watching through some of it, but I, I there's, there's a lot. There's a lot to go so. through. Yeah, I like that Yo-Yo got her arms. Me too. And I like, I like that they took time for her to like, like use them and kind of like, rather than her just having them. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it was, it was a very good moment because like she, how long has it been? That happened in season five, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah, she lost them in five, mm-hmm. I think. And then uh, she didn't have them at all last season. Yeah, she had the metal ones and stuff. Yeah. So they said the Shrike stuff that was still in her, like a body's kind of like fighting it, so yeah. that should be taken care of. It's deteriorating, de- deteriorating or something. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. I'm glad that we should have her back soon. May, hopefully we'll have her back, and that won't be an issue. I love hard nose, hard line Gemma. 
I really do. It's different than what she used to be. She's gone through some shit. We had this. We don't know how long it's been yeah. that she's been doing stuff. So we might have elements of that kind of like Gemma represses a lot of her anger and a lot of her things that have happened in her life, and that's what came out in that amazing episode last season when Fitz and Gemma were in the Chronicom computer and trying to save each other. Pretty much, they were trying to get like that, that's where they're trying to develop their time travel stuff, right? having them figure stuff out and then just Coulson's perfect I mean he's as close to having Coulson back while you know not invalidating what season five's ending we're like that's Coulson died Coulson is dead this is a copy you know and but, I, I but I still feel for him you, there's nothing saying that we don't we could go to a time frame where Coulson is alive could. which could be a possibility you know, yeah, just like watching Captain Marvel, and yeah. Coulson is in there, you know? Yeah, like, I mean, we could go to a time period where Sam Jackson shows back up in the show. I mean, he was in a couple episodes, good, you know? Yeah. We could have well, I mean, so many things. If we went back to the present, he should be there, yeah. right? And he's still around. For, for getting Ward, right? we got to get Ward sometime this season. I would like to. Me I don't too. know what method. I love Framework Ward. Yeah. Like, the good guy yeah. Ward. I'd love to have that back. Because watching him do season one again, like, man, I really liked Ward. Yeah. I think that we start... This is a solid... Uh, like first episode but again I think that you introduce these themes in time travel and like the history of S.H.I.E.L.D. and stuff to comment and look back on your seven seasons of S.H.I.E.L.D. more like what Arrow did yeah. kind of in and a I, way yeah how a many, little bit how many is it, is it a short season do we know uh, I don't remember I, I think I, it's like 12 episodes I want to hope it's like 20 <laughs> It's not going to be 20. That's what I want. But I'm fine with it being shorter. Like I think it's like season 6 was like, wasn't it like 12 episodes? I think it was or 16 between, or between 10 to 15 episodes for season 6. I have faith that S.H.I.E.L.D. will be able to do exactly what it wants to do. Yeah, but I, it's, it's not that I'm worried about that. I think if they had 20 episodes, they'd be able to do exactly what they want to do. I, I want 20 episodes. That's what I want. <laughs> I want it. I just want more. I don't want it to end. Yeah. But I mean, with, yeah, with this whole tie thing, I mean, they could be going... Literally, you know, next episode could be, all right, let's jump again and we're in a different time period. I, for some reason, I kind of thought, like, oh, we're going to have a whole season, like, in this time period. But yeah. there's no reason not to. No. They have a time ship. Yeah, I They're thought, following the Chronicom. They got the threads. I thought we might travel different places yeah. with it. So the thing is then is, is it – see, here, here the thing is, do they have to stay here longer and make sure Freddy's okay? Mm -hmm. Or is it too late now the Chronicoms have to try a new location? Yeah. And will they leave or – you know I mean, what I mean? If they didn't like, kill Freddy, that you know everything else will ripple around. Even if that woman dies, the ripple. Freddy is the the dam, right? Yeah, and, but is it too late to kill him? Like, hmm, yeah. Like, could they still find him? Is it because he hasn't made it to the docks yet? Yeah. Or you know, know, at what point? Yeah. They're like, because they said they need the handoff to happen, and then kill a Freddy. They couldn't do it before the handoff happened which, yeah. for whatever reason. So I'm wondering if there's like, will we have another episode where we're staying here, sure. or will we be jumping sooner rather than later? Like. The Terminators going back for John Connor. They just keep going back. Yeah, you know, and which that moment was so Terminator, I couldn't even believe it. They 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 have a a music score in here that is so Terminator yeah. without being Terminator. It's just because you can't copyright two notes. I guess yeah. It just went. <laughs> the fight was awesome. I loved this idea that Coulson is like I'm a superhero too. Like he has this super strength. He punch that pot. Perfect recall. He Broke open a door. Got yeah, he shot. Just, he just had this smile on his face. But the moment when he shook like FDR's hand, like those moments are like this is an amazing Coulson moment. And I'm happy for him. It's not him, but it yeah. is. But then I'm also sad, like yeah. Coulson. Like it, it's it's great to see the excitement that Coulson gets. Yeah. I love you know, it's the same thing of like Steve Rogers, yeah. you know, how much he cared for him. He had his had the cards and yeah. everything and all that, and he was like mm -hmm. he was a fan of it all, you know, and he he kind of fans out a little bit and I enjoy that but yeah if this is like FDR is like a hero or you know he's a big fan of him and stuff like that it's awesome to see like that handshake thing and it's also at the same time sad because the real Coulson would have really loved this as well yeah. you know but then at least this Coulson's getting it I guess I don't know what's the craziest thing they could jump to craziest the craziest thing they could jump to is 2012 New York Battle of New York how amazing would it be if they were referencing the Avengers and Endgame and shield is there. Jesus. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fucking crazy? That'd be really hard to do. I don't think yeah. they would do that. I don't know how integrated uh, the writing and the production of this was going to be into what is going to be the new uh, era of Marvel television with Disney+. Plus. But I'm just trying to think, like, what would be the craziest things to see? That would be amazing. If the Chronicoms go there and they try to, like, let yeah. the new kit New York or something like that, that way 
look, Shield did this. They were attacking, destroying stuff, and they nuked New York. Yeah. What what's the use of it? They destroyed everything, you know. And then Shield's gone or something. Koenig. Yeah, man. Ernest is that his name? Something Ernest like that. Something Koenig. They yeah. had Koenig in there. That was good. I wasn't expecting. I heard his voice him. and like. There was something familiar, but I just couldn't nail it until I when saw it. When he was walking this way with a mustache, and like, oh no, yeah, who's this supposed to be? As soon as I saw his like, face, I'm like, that's Patton Oswalt. That's Co- that's a Koenig. But the voice was getting me. I was like, because he was doing like a little yeah. accent, you know. I was like, I recognize this person. It's gonna drive me crazy. For some reason, from this point with this mustache, I didn't quite get it until he turned. Yeah. And at that point, you'd already said too, like, yeah, Oswald, yeah, you know, Patton or whatever you said. That's good. He was a big part of the show, especially. Too, so I'm glad that I mean it would be amazing if every time they go to a new timeline there's a coding there but I don't know like crazy. they might not be going like you know like Legends of Tomorrow will go crazy in terms of where they're going in their time this might be like decade by decade you know it could be we could go back we probably won't go back further than this maybe not because this is probably the furthest point this, before SSR has before has shield, to do with shield that yeah. would be related to it which is related to Hydra yeah so but possibly going further, like we're in the thirty, we're in thirty one now. So uh-huh. once we get SSR be formed, and then it'll be there helping World War Two, yeah. and then after World War Two, we'll be seeing more of like where the Agent mm-hmm. Carter stuff took place. So will we go through any of that, or will we be jumping further ahead, or what? But it is tied to SSR and Shield yeah. stuff. So I uh, I just really enjoy the Chronicoms. They're 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 a cool villain, while being almost like anonymous. Because any of them is a true villain. Yeah. You know? Like, you can just, just they're like faces. a hive group of people. It's not like just this one Terminator we have to deal with. It could be 50 of them. It could be a thousand of them. We don't know. It's the whole race trying to save a planet or get a new planet. Mm-hmm. So. And I like Enoch. Me too. I'm glad that he's still here too. I like that one line. The one Chronicom is like, I'm a police officer. I'm why I've always been. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's just cool. like Enoch's, I am, I am Cree, brother, as I have always been. Do not come in. They may be screaming. <laughs> yeah. Like, what? No, it's, there's something charming about having them in there. Yeah, uh, and then uh, the show tackled Mac and Daisy's racism and, and sexism. Not being white people. Like white and, men. And, 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 and being like, white pretty, men. And, pretty much. Yeah, right? it, it was like, it was just enough where you're like, yeah, you have to deal with that. But I love I, Mac's restraint. I, I loved whenever the one guy said, hey. Can you hurry up and you and like you what you want to finish that? When he gets yeah. up like fucking, he's, he looks down. He's looking at him. He's so big. He's uh, no, no nothing. He just Boy, leaves. Nineteen thirties moron. You know. But yeah, no, I like like ripples, ripples not ripples waves. Like, ripples, not waves. Yeah, like he's so good. he's trying, and you know Daisy too is like Mounties. She yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're Mounties. Happens all the time in Canada. But no, she, hers was good. Yeah. Like, uh, broken ribs and stuff. I'm trying to find out. But... I was honestly kind of surprised the guy was like, oh, uh, sorry, ma'am. You know, yeah. and he, like, calmed down. I, yeah. I, I don't know. I didn't live in that time, but I know, like, that. Those, both of those are sure. things that happened. Yeah. I just, for some reason, I just imagine being like, you can stay out here, you know? Yeah. And, like, what was Daisy going to do? She like, they couldn't punch him, you yeah. know? But I'm glad that he just kind of, like, all right. Dude, Mac in that like, because I was like, oh, I wonder if Coulson's gonna be super strong. And then as, and then I was like, well, Mac's strong too. And he threw a guy up in the air and then punched, punched him, him down. down. Like it was crazy. I loved it. I it was such so a much. great stunt. I like that because it looks like they just threw him in the air. And I think they did. Pushed him down. I, think they did. <laughs> I liked it much more than Deke just stabbing. Him oh, that was good too. No, uh, yeah, Deke had a good movie. I. I I definitely want. I, I always miss Fitz when he's not in here, but Deke makes for a good placeholder. Like you know, he's already a man out of time, so yeah. he has that experience. But also, he can bring like the science to it, but also not too much to the fact that he's going to be solving everything. So it works. Yeah, he's good to have in the field, especially since we can't have Fitz Simmons in yeah. there. You know, it, I like him being there for like the hot wiring and mm-hmm. things and all that kind of stuff too. Well, let's check out some Q&As over at Twitter. Next says, because of the time zones, I won't be able to watch until later. So I just want to ask the question now. By the end of the season, I really hope Daisy becomes the new director. What do you guys think? And what are the possibilities of this happening? Uh, yeah, I mean, Quake, uh, mm-hmm. Daisy Johnson being director of S.H.I.E.L.D. has happened in the comics. And okay. I always felt like she was kind of being groomed by Coulson that way anyway. Um, so I imagine that could be a, a pretty good ending. I, I don't know if even LMD Coulson survives throughout this season, towards the end. Or well, they talked about The thing they season. referenced there, which that was one of the things I was going to say too, is that I liked whenever they turned him on and there's just like all this flooding mm-hmm. of like the past few years of him like trying to catch up and yeah. 
you know, just chatting out things yeah. that are going on, you know. But Max said, like, I tr- you know, I trust my team. Mm-hmm. You know, you taught me to do this. And then whenever Colson was like, you know, I'd, I'd do anything for you guys. Yeah. Like, that was, like, an emotional moment. But then he also said, like, when we're done, oh, I want to reevaluate. Exactly. And then Max said, sure. So yeah. could we keep him around? Maybe. Yeah. Like, maybe you have a Colson that could come back, but maybe you don't. Mm-hmm. Maybe he shuts himself down. Yeah. Uh, the OK Wizard says, how do you guys feel about the new Colson? I love how he actively knows that he is an LMD and in traditional Phil Colson style. Just jokes about it. Colson lives! Yeah, uh, me too. I'm glad they didn't do what I feel like a no, uh, other television shows would do and lie to him. Not tell him. And then he has to figure it out and it's a big old drama thing, you know. For a spy show, they're pretty honest in terms of, like, doing all that stuff and not keeping those secrets. So, I just, you know, I mean, it's still that Colson humor that Clark Gregg is so good at. Which is like, do I have yours? <laughs> you know, I like I like things like that. I also love like, and it'd be a whole new deal. I'm sorry, dad jokes is a glitch. You it's know, like no, it's not. Keep yeah. it. <laughs> That's what you do. But uh, and then also Clark Gregg did a great job in the beginning when he was kind of freaking out about, oh my god, and all that data was pouring into him and stuff. I just really liked the performance too. So all these like little references of things throughout the show that we've had. Uh, Carter just says, not too much to say, but good thing about quarantine is I finally got caught up, and I'm so glad that I did so. So, Carter, welcome. As, uh, people that have been watching S.H.I.E.L.D. for a long time, we welcome you into the S.H.I.E.L.D. fandom, and you get to watch live with us. Agent Carter? Yep. Carter Bibbins. Um, Bibbins. Good. Glad you enjoyed it, too. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has been one of my favorite TV shows on TV. Dr. Winchester says, if I remember correctly, when we see Jarvis in Endgame... He looks a little older than he does in Agent Carter. So, Steve should return to Peggy after Season 2. Do you think or hope we'll see Peggy, Jarvis, or even Steve this season? So, if you, one theory of this timeline being on the one that was fixed in Endgame, Steve and Peggy could be together uh, in this. But I imagine, I would love to see Jarvis. He, you know, I've said it in the Agent Carter reactions that you guys haven't seen yet, but he's my, one of my favorite characters in Marvel. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, so it would be amazing to see more Jarvis. It would be great. I'm so they, happy for him, like, after the fact, having been in Endgame. Like, they even could go to, like, all right, we need, you know, we need something, we don't have it. Like, who yeah. would have it? Like, Stark Labs. We go to Stark Labs, and Howard, of course, is gone with whatever. Yeah. But Jarvis is there. Yeah. And he, he lets you in or something, you know? I don't know if they'd be able to get. Like Steve, uh, Steve Rogers, anything in there. But if they did, and Steve, after all he had done, got to meet this version of Coulson again, you could have that kind of like, wow, you know, we've been through a lot. Tell me what's happened. You tell me what's happened. And then the normal MCU isn't affected because Steve's in the past, you know? It'd be cool. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if we'd ever get that. I don't know if we. Is that too much movie crossover, you know? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, if, if this. If stuff was more connected, then maybe I could see that happening. But. That's more of, like, fantasy stuff, you know? That's, like... I put that on the level of Daredevil being in a Spider-Man movie. <laughs> Which he should be. It should be in the next one. I know. He needs to be. Charlie Cox. All right. Billy B says, With the talks of multiverse and time travel, do you think the team may have broke off into a new timeline when they time-traveled back in Season 5? This could explain the lack of the snap occurring on S.H.I.E.L.D. because we've been in a timeline where Thanos was defeated. My theory that... I, I'll explain it as best I can this time here is that... What I think could be, and this is going to be my canon until explained otherwise, uh-huh. is that we had the movies go the way they did. They had the multi-branch theory and all that kind of stuff, right? Yep. By the time we get to the end of Endgame, what had happened was members of the past came to the future, such as Thanos, to snap in the future because the gauntlet and everything was there, right? Which means that he wouldn't have lived through time to snap. Thus, if we are living in this new timeline where that's what's occurring... If S.H.I.E.L.D.'s living through there, there is no snap back then, mm. so that they didn't have to have it. Okay. So, like, I'm thinking that it, they could have had this, where, like, sure, Iron Man would have happened, right? There would have been Age of Ultron stuff. Yeah. Like, all that stuff could have still happened the same way. But when you get towards the end, the main differences you know of are these people that came to the future, like Gamora, right? Yeah. Nebula, Thanos. Like, they all came to the future. They're still in the future, but they're not in the past. Thus, okay. Thanos couldn't snap. Thus, there wasn't a snap in S.H.I.E.L.D. I... You, I get it. Uh, that will be your head cannon. Yeah, that's gonna be mine for okay. now. So um, it doesn't have to be another universe. It can yeah. be the same one that the movies are currently in. It's it's not. Maybe our shield has not been in, or we came back to. Gotcha. Because we also left and came back, right? Yeah. So in sh- season five, 
five? Yeah, five when they went to the future to stop the world from being destroyed. Yes. And then came back. What if when they came back, it was in that new kind of timeline and they didn't know it? Mm. Thus, we never saw an actual snap occur. I love it. Right now, my theory is just X because I don't have an answer and it's just that S.H.I.E.L.D.'s doing its own thing. That's what I'll assume. I don't want to be disappointed if True. nothing happens. True. But I like that because ultimately it's kind of the same thing. Yeah. It's just that you're putting a little extra work in to make them both feel like they're working together. Yeah. yeah. It's a way of me trying to put them where, like, look, they're in the same universe. Everything can still tie together if we want them to, but nothing contradicts the other. Because then if the snap did happen, I'd be like, well, wait a minute. We're living in this. Thanos yeah. wouldn't have snapped because he left. You know, yeah. like. But then you could put another plot hole in there. So uh, Andre says, uh, "What do you guys think about the, how they explain time travel in this episode? <laughs> it's a bit different from Endgame. Uh, ways of explaining it. Ironically, even though they're in the same universe, to me, it felt more like how they explained it in Days of Future Past, which is another Marvel time travel stuff. Yeah. So we could say that those are a little more connected than Endgame. I think my my other thing with there was talking with that a little bit was perhaps both theories can be true mm -hmm. in the sense that the multiverse stuff has to have." very big moments of like the gems the gems are what hold your time stream together maybe what deke's saying the time stream thing kind of flowing around is exactly how it works but when you start messing with like the infinity gems and altering where they are where they hold the the stream together now you start getting these multi-branching things happening yeah. and things happen differently and change and alter all over sure. the place so maybe both are depending on what you're doing you yeah. can alter both agreed i mean i've already in the arrowverse fandom have Consolidated two different versions of time travel working at the same time, so I'm fine with it. Miguel Garcia says, I love the premiere. Do you think the Chronicoms will be the antagonist of all season? I hope they introduce a villain that feels more personal and dynamic to the team. I mean, what if we end with, like, Hydra getting some kind of time travel and we have a Hydra threat we have to deal with, since they've introduced it here in the first episode? What if the Chronicoms recruit Ward, Evil Ward, <laughs> And then he's going through time with them too. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, honestly, I'd be okay with it because I've I've enjoyed what they're doing here. Like uh, the guy that was playing Captain Dole, like you said, like I like this guy. I kind of liked him. Yeah. Um, and I think you can just keep doing that. See, like there was this that shot with him. He had like his hair yeah. like both this way. He's ah, you know, like yeah. screaming like this guy's kind of crazy yeah. and great for like a little villain man. Like to make an actual just this antagonist that's more personal. Like I didn't necessarily love Izel last season, um, and Sarge was. It was cool because you're like, well, you're trying to get some, you want Clark Gregg there, but then he ultimately just turns out to be this, like, God guy that looks Took like Took over the weird, body yeah. and stuff or whatever. And it had nothing to do with it. And it was like, well, yes, it's personal, but it also felt a little more shoe shoehorned. And I don't really feel, I don't really see a whole lot used to be filled by having, like, a more personal antagonist right now. But I'm also open for these amazing writers to tell me that I'm wrong. Tricky Nitsuke, Nitsui, Tricky says... <laughs> Uh, I can't believe that this is the last Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season premiere we will ever get. Could the liquid in that little bottle be the serum that turns Schmidt into the Red Skull? Mm. I'm not sure of the timing for this transformation, for his transformation. So maybe it's not like the super serum, soldier serum, whatever, that's going on Captain America, but the arms race of that serum that Hydra made and it fucked up Red Skull. Yeah. I mean, I made it better, but it also he has a Red Skull. Yeah, he's strong, but he's, he looks weird. Yeah. Right. So could that be? We don't. Um, you know, Red Skull was Red Skull when he was introduced to us. So yeah, we didn't see his origin. And if that was a Hydra thing, you know, then possibly is that what we're looking at? Yeah. I mean, it just depends on what, like, what is. I don't know. Whatever that girl's name was, like, the future. Like, what is this? The yeah. future. Like, what kind of mm -hmm. answer is that? What does it mean? Is it? So yeah, I don't know. Uh, Tone says lots of stabby things in the heads in this premiere. Love that device Deke stabbed into their erase men's heads to reveal their faces. Nope. Do you think we could stab Aaron in the head with a device? Why? Uh, like that to reveal what his hairline used to look like. It used it looks it looked like this for KB I had it. He says, I honestly hope that Agent Carter and friends cross over with this season. Agent of Shield since we're going back in the past and I haven't seen Agent Carter, but I think that it would be cool to see things or hear little talks about Captain America. Well, KB, uh, now is the time for you to binge some Agent Carter uh, while you're waiting for S.H.I.E.L.D. for next week. I mean, it's going to be a lot, but you could probably get through it. We got it's, through it's it. It's only 18 episodes. 18 episodes, and if you have Disney+, Plus, it's all on Disney+, Plus right now. So. And if you do it, you have another re reaction series to go along with us because we're currently going through Carter for the next uh, 15 more weeks. So, I mean, Carter will still, that, those reactions will still be coming out, I think, when S.H.I.E.L.D. is done. Let's see. Pong says, Agents of Tomorrow or Legends of S.H.I.E.L.D.? 
<laughs> I mean, just like the FDR stuff kind of gave me a feeling of Legends, but this obviously has much more stakes and realism and oh, realism in a show about this kind of stuff but you know realism uh, LMD it felt a little more season one Legends of Tomorrow uh, than season five more, more serious yeah but I mean I I, I, I I compare them only in that regard not in their tone which is very different yeah I, I loved the they, they've changed it every season but they've never changed it as much as this one with mm-hmm. the title yeah the title was good I hope they just Different ones every time. Like, it'd be cool if, like, depending on what time they're in, yeah. they alter what exactly. it looks like. So, but no, I loved that. It was like, it had, like, little quotations, and it was kind of like an old-school TV movie thing or something. And, uh, uh, Dobie Craig says, that handshake between Roosevelt and Coulson was weirdly wholesome. Dealing with a with a fake of a real person that didn't want to be back sounds like a walking nightmare. <laughs> Would you kill Hitler's dad? Does LMD Coulson die? Colson better make a T-800 trip. <laughs> it was really wholesome. I wouldn't kill Hitler's dad or baby Hitler. I'd be worried about the dams breaking. Um, oh, does LMD Colson die? I mean, he can be repaired. And, I mean, if he can be destroyed to the point that he can be repaired, I suppose. But... If you can destroy Chronicom, yeah. you can probably destroy them. But the guest face melted off. Yeah. That Chronicom, like, overheated his, like, yeah. CPU and just... Yeah. Uh... I like being able to see the Chronicoms, by the way. That was cool. Oh, the the one shot? Yeah. That had, like, the yeah. weird... I thought they were squids or something. Remember that? In, like, season... When they introduced Enoch, he Four, was, like, five, five. weird and taking a shower, and he had, like, a skin suit. Yeah. But he specifically said that hunters would do something different. This is a more invasive process, so... Maybe the way Enoch did it when we saw him for the first time in season five... Maybe. Or whatever is different than what the hunters are doing with this, like... Thing. I can explain the time travel stuff, but I can't. I, I can't get over that part. <laughs> Twelve Cat says, "Do we know what year this is taking place in?" Uh, it is nineteen thirty-one right now. Also, on a side note, uh, in between last season and this season, I binged all of Shield for the first time, and I loved it. Good, awesome, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. One of the best things, or most complimentary things, the thing that makes me so happy is when people say, "Yeah, I heard you guys talking about Shield," so. I'm going to start watching it. And then, like, three weeks later, they'll be like, oh, my God, it's my favorite show ever. Like, it's the best thing that Blind Wave could do for people, in my opinion. No, yeah. I love it. Season four, specifically, is probably one of my favorite seasons of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, definitely. Maximus Villaboy says, with the cast being in a different century, who had the best outfit? I loved Coulson's. I loved, he had, like, the the hat with the trench coat. Mm -hmm. I love hats with trench coats. I mean... Daisy just got, she got two really good outfits, so mm-hmm. I'm going to go with Daisy. But Mac also looked pretty amazing. Mac looked good. But Coulson with the trench coat and hat. I'm going to wear that next time. Wear a trench coat with my fedora. Yeah. <laughs> I know, fedora I know. Yeah. David Boyd says, last we saw of Piper and Flint, Mac had Piper fly Flint off to safety near the end of season six. Whether they made it or not seems unresolved. Do you think we will see Flint or Piper this season? So Yeah, yeah they brought... Well, I mean, they didn't bring Flint back. Flint, Flint was, was brought created. by Izel. Yes. The thing that they feared the worst was somebody that could recreate the... Uh, Obelisks. The obelisk things. So Flint was there recreating obelisks and controlling yeah. all the rocks and stuff. So Piper... I mean, you know, we, we don't have Piper. We don't have... Da- obviously, Davis died last season. I was so mad about that. Mm-hmm. I thought that Davis still... And, and we can meet Davis again. Uh, what's his name, right? Then the Yo-Yo's dude died. Yeah. He died, like, the first episode. It wasn't the first episode. No, they had they introduced a guy they named him, and then he died, Sarge killed him, and then a guy got striked and turned to a crystal. Yes, that sounds right. I, had, I knew I had it written down. How was his name? Keller. I think it was Keller. That's why I take notes. Dorita says, episode looked great. I like the new logo. What do you guys think is going on with May at the end of the episode, and what do you think about JoJo saying about remembering what happened with her? Oh, okay, Yo-Yo. I'm sorry. What do you think about Yo-Yo saying, in Spanish countries, days and wise, what do you think about Yo-Yo saying about remembering what happened with her arm? Personally, I really liked it. Yeah, I, with the May thing. She's crazy. I, she's going to kill everybody. Yes, but I like that it's not just like, ah, oh, we saved her and you know all those feelings and stuff that you thought you're gonna, she was going to die. We're not just going to be like, and she's better, you know? They're going to be like, there's some stuff going on here. Uh, same thing with Yo-Yo, especially the moment when she feels her face. With her fingers like and actually feels that that was a very significant moment. One because you can just put yourself in the like you know those shoes of being like oh, that's 
kind of crazy how long it's been. Yeah. But two, she just hasn't been happy for a really long time. I'm glad they gave a chance to have her sitting there by herself, yeah. like, with him for, like, the first time. Yeah. And just doing that, you know? just. Feel- I mean, Yo-Yo literally seeing an older version of herself with no hope and then dying and then thinking nothing can change this. All that stuff. I mean, she's just had so many storylines and, and scenes where it's just, this is a big bummer. You know, and you want her to get back with Mac, and then uh, you have all that stuff. You have she loses Keller. She does get back with Mac eventually. I wonder if she has like shields and stuff in her arms. I don't know. Like remember Coulson? I mean, yeah. Coulson had to go. Like that. I remember. I hope he still has something like that. He does. He need it, right? I mean, they. No, I guess not. But they did say that the LMDs, and I'm assuming her because they're like Coulson's, right? Or did they say better? Chronicom stuff has. Well, his did, his couldn't feel, me. right? I don't know. I think it was something like that where his couldn't feel yeah. or something. So these are better and have. Yeah. Like, so that's good. That's the last of the Q&As. Uh, guys, thank you very much for uh, entering in those Q&As. Next episode, we'll be doing it again. We watch these Thursday morning. So you have until about, I don't know, like 10, 12, uh, 11. Yeah. You have until about like noon or, noonish or so to get your Q&As in uh, to be able to try to get them on the video. So, okay. Um, that was that. You got a poll ep- for this episode? Do, do I have a poll? Do you got a poll? What? What? All right, so poll for this episode, we're going to be talking about May, okay? What do you think is up with her? I mean, pun intended. Uh, she would have say, like, she's kind of delirious from waking up after all this stuff, and she's ultimately just fine. Um, she Something's wrong. She's gone crazy, and she's going to be like, ah, it's her, you know, attacking people. She's not fine. Maybe something to do with, like, Izel or or Sarge? Oh, the, the Somehow. With all that stuff? Like, something that we... Don't expect there, but it has something to do with those... Like she's being controlled somehow people, or something? Maybe, yeah, uh, or something else. So I think that she's just being... This is what May does every morning. What? She, she Spider-Man's up under the okay, corner of the walls? Yeah. Ever since the framework stuff, she Spider-Man's in the corner. I think that she's crazy and she's going to start attacking people and she's going to be bad somehow. Bad. 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 Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. If you want to see more, you can't. You have to just wait until next week. But what you can do is interact in that poll over at patreon.com slash blindwave. You can also check out the full link down in the description, available to everybody. Enjoy it and consider supporting us for the entire run of the season.